If you want to switch from your iPhone to your new Pixel, we'll show you how to do that in this video. In a few simple steps, you can pick up from where you left off on your old phone by transferring your contacts, photos, calendars, and more. First, make sure you have your fully charged iPhone and its charging cable, your new fully charged Pixel, the quick switch adapter that came with your Pixel, and the SIM card tool that came with your Pixel. You should also have the latest software on your old phone and good Wi-Fi connection. With your SIM card still in your iPhone, turn off Messages and FaceTime. Tap Settings, then tap Messages, and turn off iMessage. Do the same for FaceTime. If you have other Apple devices, deregister your phone number from them too. Turn on your new Pixel phone. If you'd like, you can change your phone's language or vision settings. Tap Get Started. If you have a SIM card, insert it now. Then connect to a Wi-Fi mobile network. Tap Next. Turn on your old iPhone and unlock it. Then plug the cable you use to charge your iPhone into that phone and plug the other end into the quick switch adapter that came with your new Pixel phone. Then plug the adapter into your Pixel. On your iPhone, confirm it's OK to connect. Then, on your Pixel, enter your Google account password and tap Next. If you don't have the cable available, you can transfer data wirelessly by using the Switch to Android app. Now choose what you want to copy from your iPhone to your Pixel. If you don't want to transfer specific data, uncheck the box next to it. To begin the transfer, tap Copy. Depending on how much data your phone has, this transfer could take a few minutes or over an hour. While you're waiting, you can manage other settings. To set them up now, tap on the feature. To set them up later, tap Done for now. If one of your apps didn't transfer, you can download it through the Google Play Store. Now you know how to easily switch from your iPhone to your new Pixel. To learn more about your Pixel phone, watch our other videos or visit the Help Center.